Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, creating scenery from Microsoft Flight Simulator using free resources. Um, I don't know how much of this I'm going to be filming, but um, uh, I'll probably do a little every so often, kind of give you an update on, on the model and stuff like that. Um, today today's kind of a uh, kind of a weird day I just published version 3 of my Burke Lakefront Airport did that yesterday and usually the day after I publish a, a scenery on flightsim.to that next day is you know computer cleanup and you know just some housekeeping kind of stuff plus I'm watching the first robotics world championships my uh, son and his wife's teams there and and there's a local team here from ohio that's down there in houston texas and so i've been watching robotics too but anyway um i spend the next couple of days getting my brain back you know after i've been in scenery for so long um I just do a few things to kind of keep the keep the edge sharpened. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, today um, I'm starting to build a submarine. And why would I put this on my Microsoft Flight Simulator scenery um, videos? Well, because this actually is scenery for uh, Burke Lakefront Airport <laughs> um, outside of the airport. It's right on Lake Erie. There is the USS Cod, which is a World War II uh, Gato class submarine. And the one, the default version, you know, you guys know default scenery. It's it's just lousy. Doesn't even look like a submarine. So anyway, I am making that model, and I'll probably work on it over. Uh, it's going to take time, but um, I'll make different levels of detail, obviously. But anyway, I just kind of want to show you, and those people who create aircraft would will you know appreciate how you set up, okay? Because it's it's pretty much the same. And in my in my humble opinion, okay, I'm not dogging anybody, but. I think building ships and fighter aircraft are probably harder than uh, airliners. Airliners are basically um, a tube, right? Obviously, I mean, there's you guys that do aircraft. Um, I'm not dogging you guys whatsoever. Um, but ships are a little bit more challenging because just of the simple shape okay i mean the 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 subtle changes in shape and stuff and if you don't have the right data you know it's really really hard to make a ship um can you get uh ship line files yeah you can but those are usually for the older ships and stuff like that but anyway, I found a historical site that actually has uh, blueprints for uh, Gato submarines, World War II era submarines. And basically, I'm just going to kind of show you a little bit, but um, kind of how I, how I set this up, okay? So... These are actually scale drawings, which is really, really nice. Even, even when it's, um, you know, an image, um, the, the profile, not the profile, but the um, side view of the sub and the top uh, view of the sub, they were, they came in one eighth of an inch equals one foot, which is really nice. And so, really, I was able to, in Blender, scale those directly. I didn't have to guess. Now, the gray box that you see is the actual documented um, 
dimensions of the submarine. So we have the beam, which is the width of a ship, and we have the overall length of the ship, and, or actually they call subs boats, but um, uh, go Navy. Okay, but anyway, um, and it also has, you know, and, and it's also the the draft of the ship and the draft of the ship is the is the distance underneath the water okay now what i've done was i brought these into blender and you do this with an aircraft too okay uh aircraft is almost the same um if you're lucky to find profile or cross sections but um, for reference images. So I have a side view and I have a top view. And what's really cool with this particular site was these are the actual uh, engineer drawings for this particular Gato submarine. Now I'm gonna have to make some modifications to it because it's not exactly like the COD but it's the best drawings I can find without having to pay for them, by the way. Remember, I like to do free resources as much as possible. But anyway, I digress like I always do. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I brought in the, I, I started with the top. So I made, uh, you make, you make an object, which is this, this box, all right, which gives me the length the 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 beam and the draft draft of the ship all right that way when i bring my uh plan drawings in i can match that size okay so that's the first thing that i do is i create that um that guinea pig box so to speak and then i bring in the images now here these images are so great i was just able to for the uh, top and side view was able to just and apply a scale 20 times and it fit perfect okay and then i'll show you in creta in creta i was able to download a lot of these uh, profiles now there's two profiles for every uh, except for the ends this one this one and this one uh, it's a right side and left side is the same, but you notice that these are different. Okay. These are different cross sections of different stations along the ship. Okay. And here I'm getting two stations for every drawing. All right. So if you look, this side is for station 95 and this profile right here, this, uh, sorry, this cross section on this side is for station 113. So that was just a matter of if I can use one drawing and then copy it uh, to another location and then flip it. So both of these are on the same side. But I'll show you that here in Blender. So anyway, I used Krita uh, for the main picture. And then I created layers based off of cropping different parts. So I basically went into Krita with the select tool and made a box around the image that I wanted. Now I didn't save these to, to a new image because I didn't want it to scale it. I wanted it to stay exactly the same size. But anyway, I would uh, select the background. Once I had my selection box, uh, basically do a edit copy and then an edit paste just like that and it creates a brand new layer and then I just give it a name okay and then I turn off the background and then I export this out as a PNG so it doesn't lose its size okay its scale all right so anyway, that's what I use Krita to do. Now, then back into Blender, setting this up. This is a long process. This is tedious, 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 tedious process of getting your drawing set up. Um, but anything, any, anyway, everything's to scale. And then here's like one of the images that I brought in. So I'll do a tilde R, go to the front of the ship. And then it's basically lining 
lining these up and really the the image and it's really important whether you're working on aircraft or whatever it is uh, if it has a center line drawn in it it's perfect because then you can set it up uh, right along the center line which is this dark line right here so anyway I bring the bottom of the image to the bottom of the draft and then I move it left to right to line up the center okay and then this one happens to be uh, station 67 and on the other side of the drawing is station 80 however if you notice in this particular drawing uh, this side is looking forward so it would be like that all right so it's on the right side of it's on the starboard side of the uh, the boat okay and then on the other side it says looking aft all right so if that's looking aft which i think i have right no yeah 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 yeah, yeah. looking aft it's the same it's the same shape whether you're looking uh forward or uh toward the bow or the uh the stern of the ship okay but anyway i take this drawing and then I just make a copy of it, which I have here on 80. Okay, so I'll turn 80 on. 80 is an exact copy of 67, since they have images on both sides. All right. But I turn this particular drawing 180, degree, 180 degrees on the Z, so I can line up the same starboard side of the boat. Okay. So that's pretty much setting up the resource. And um, so I have all the different uh, profiles set up. Just like this. All right. So there's all the different profiles for the ship and they're all lined up. Now, the next step of what I'm going to be doing is I am going to simply make a circle with as many vertexes, vertices as possible. And I'll make one circle and I'll get it to size to fit the, I'll start a, I'll start a midship first. So I'll make a circle at 67, which I think believe 60, station 67 was the midship. So I'll make a circle and then I will uh, start forming that around the uh, cross section. Okay. Now, submarines are really unique in the fact that you don't only, you o you don't only have a ship shape to it with the angled bow. Okay. But you also have with the submarine is it's also a tube okay but in this particular in this particular model um, uh, class of a ship that tube isn't straight it kind of curves down a little bit all right and that's where all the ballast tanks and stuff like that are for it so anyway if you guys want to see me work on this model on this on my channel let me know in the comments um, because you know I try to I'll, I'll tr every once in a while after working on buildings for so long I gotta do something different to really kind of test my abilities and learn new things and there's no better way of learning new things of working with something that has weird shapes right okay but anyway that's where i'm at now i just finished uh publishing uh burke lakefront uh version three kind of taking a day off of doing the actual airport stuff cleaning my computer up but I do know that I want eventually to get this submarine into that scenery. So that's why I'm getting it all set up. So anyway, uh, if you guys want to see me make this submarine, let me know in the comments. And then I will adjust um, my recording for that. 
anyway i hope you guys have a great day i really appreciate you guys watching my channel and subscribing and if you haven't please do it's okay if you don't um but you know uh help me out if you could and um you know comment you know the algorithm likes the comment and the dialogue between the video creator and and the people that are watching it and if you guys feel inclined to support me by buymeacoffee.com please do my physical world you guys have a great day every one of you are great i really want to start seeing you guys as scenery so um I have a Facebook group, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, SDK and Scenery. Come to that group, join the group, and then start publishing your, your scenery on, on that group. Uh, it's, it's fair game as long as everybody's kind and, and, and nice to everybody. Uh, I don't care if you promote your own work, whether it's free, whether it's payware, I don't care. It's, it's, uh, it's a, it's a Facebook group for scenery designers and mod designers. Okay. So use it, you know, have fun with it. So anyway, check us out. Go to Facebook, get on that uh, group, and I will add you on and start showing us your stuff, okay? I want you guys to learn. I want you guys to really enjoy this stuff. I really appreciate every one of you. Like I said, leave me a comment. Do you want to see me make the submarine or not, all right? If, if you don't, I'll just do it on my own. <laughs> all right, we'll see you guys later. Have a great weekend. See ya.